guys, it's Cam and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then welcome and thank you to every single one of you that joins the Cam fam, subscribes to my channel and just leaves me like the sweetest comments on my channel. You guys are the best and thank you so much. So I'm not gonna lie, I've had a really rough like past couple weeks, personally, emotionally, all that stuff and I just wanted to do something really fun today and I've also been kind of like thinking in the back of my head that I never did like a get to know me video which I feel like is like such a first classic video that people do and I never did it and then I was like mm, maybe I should kind of do one if it's not too late. I try to let as much of my personality through in every single video. I think I do a halfway decent job at that let me guys know in the comments below but yeah so i just figured today i would do something really lighthearted and fun and do the get to know me tag so let's get into it all right so i did sneak a peek at these questions yesterday because i didn't want to just like blank today while recording so like i already kind of know some of these and have like answers prepared i don't know if that's cheating or not if we're supposed to do that but all right let's just start so the first question is, what is your middle name? That's an easy one. It's Katarina. Technically, I'm Polish, so it's like Katarzyna in Polish, but in English, you would just say Katarina. So Katarina. So that was easy. Okay. Share your favorite subject in high school. In high school, I took a lot of music electives, obviously. If you guys have watched some of my more personal content here on my channel, then you'd know that, yeah, I'm a singer super into music so i took a lot of like music electives in high school i also took a lot of like english and writing electives i'm just a very like creative type i'm not very into math and science i actually like dropped math as soon as i could in high school i think like by junior year i was not taking math classes anymore i was like i'm done i'm done with this so yeah probably like music and then english stuff what is your favorite drink so i have it here because I'm really, really bad at drinking water. I get dehydrated like all the time. So what I actually do is I mix like water from my water filter with vitamin water zero. So like a flavored water, but it's it doesn't have like bad ingredients. It's sweetened with erythritol. So I kind of create like a very watered down flavored water so that way I can drink it. I have this so my like math doesn't dry out while I'm talking today. Yeah, I basically drink that like all day every day i get it from costco i have so many of them so yeah i would say i don't know if it's my favorite drink but it's it's a drink that i force myself to drink otherwise i will not drink enough water so there's that okay what is your favorite song at the moment so there's a story behind this okay my husband was listening to like a playlist that was just auto suggesting songs for him and he's like you need to listen to this song. And I'm like, okay, what is it? So the song is Pop Stars by KDA. And you guys need to check it out. It's from like League of Legends or something like that. But he played the song for me. He's like, the song's called Pop Stars. You'd really like it. I'm like, okay. So we listened to it and I'm like, oh my gosh, the song is amazing. So now we literally play it like to make food, to clean around the house, to work out. We just like play it on loop when we're doing something. So that's like our song of the moment right now. And we just like jam out to that all the time. So go check it out. It's a really like really good song. It just makes you want to dance and gives you energy and stuff like that. So I really love it. So again, Pop Stars by KDA. Go check it out. <laughs> okay, next up. What would you or have you named your children? Okay, that's, yeah, again, like my husband and I talk about this all the time. So we have like a list of names. I actually think it's saved on his phone, not my phone. I do know that like, I really want to have mostly boys. So like the name that like we've settled on for like, you know, for sure, like the first son we have is going to be named Dominic because I just love that name. If I have a girl, probably Brittany, like I can't lie, I'm totally gonna name my daughter Brittany if I have a daughter. Uh, so those are probably like our top two like boy and girl names that we have. But we literally have a list of like, I think 20 names, which is insane because we're not gonna have like 20 kids. So we're probably gonna start incorporating like middle names and stuff like that, you know, from that list. But yeah, we have a list. <laughs> okay. Have you participated in any sports? Uh, <laughs> I like being athletic, but I haven't had the opportunity to be very athletic in my life. So I 
think I like threw myself into sports a lot more when I was a kid, especially during gym and stuff like that. But I did get hit with a few balls in the face, which kind of like, you know, goes back to my whole nose issue that I had. So um, I blocked like a soccer free kick with my face once. Um, I've been hit in the face with basketballs a couple times. So yeah, I didn't really like do sports in school or anything like that because I was very music focused. But I'm, I like being active. Like I like working out and playing sports just for fun. But yeah, I never did like, I never was on any teams or anything like that. Probably for, for a good reason. I don't think I'm very good. <laughs> All right, next. What is your favorite book? Okay. <laughs> so, um, I think like I read a lot when I was little. I would read a lot of like fantasy books and stuff like that when I was little. I read a lot of Harry Potter. I was like a really big Harry Potter nerd, especially in high school. It was really, really embarrassing. I loved like Chronicles of Narnia, Redwall when I was little. I don't read as much now. I think just cause like there's been a transition away from books into just, you know, looking stuff up online, reading articles online. I did like start reading like a lot of self-help and financial books in like when I started becoming an adult and Rich Dad Poor Dad is a really really good book that I recommend like everyone read because it definitely changes your mindset about like just money and finances and everything and it's not so much about like you know how to become rich or anything like that it just kind of like explains a lot about the way economics works that we don't learn in school even though we should and so you know yeah I basically really took that book very seriously I was working standard employee jobs before and then it's kind of like part of the cash flow quadrant where you kind of like start as an employee and then you know ultimately you want to go into becoming self-employed then becoming a business owner then becoming an investor so we actually made the transition to becoming self-employed like five years ago, um, myself and my husband. And now this past year we started a business. So as much as like, I don't like necessarily think about that book every day, it's really impacted my life in terms of like taking control of my time and of how I make money and stuff like that. And now I feel like work doesn't necessarily control my life so much as it did before and I was always really unhappy with my employee jobs because you know sometimes you have managers that you disagree with or just get really bad shifts at work or something like that so that's a really good book if you haven't read it I highly recommend it also The Secret I actually just remember that The Secret all about like law of attraction manifestation definitely worth a read that stuff works like you know, no matter what anyone says, really what you think about, you manifest, whether that's good or bad too. So, you know, definitely learn how to meditate, learn how to focus your thoughts, your intentions, learn how to follow your highest excitement, things like that, and just good things will come to you. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, what is your favorite color? This is pretty straightforward. Pink, gold, blue. I never have like one answer for anything. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if that's allowed. I'm, I'm gonna have like multiple answers for everything because I can't pick one thing. I just like too many things, so. <laughs> All right, moving on. What is your favorite animal? Okay, again, I have multiple answers. <laughs> Um, so dogs, like, I feel like people go towards exotic animals more when they answer questions like this, and I do have some, like, exotic animals that I love, but dogs, like, who doesn't love dogs? Dogs are babies. I love all dogs. Just give them to me. I love them. Uh, definitely dogs. Yeah, I'm, like, the dog whisperer. Seriously, like, I become best friends with everyone's dog. I love dogs, and... Yeah, uh, I want more of them. I have one and I want more of them. Let's see, other animals. So dolphins, penguins, and lions. Dolphins and penguins, I just love like, they're really cute. I don't know, I just really like them. And I've had like encounters with them, so I really like them. I've been like swimming with dolphins, both like just encountered them in nature and like, you know, gone on trips to do that. And yeah, I even had like a penguin encounter. They're just really adorable. They're really sweet. Um, I have not had a lion encounter, thankfully, and I hope to never have that. I, I like to admire them from afar, but I think it's like, just because I'm a Leo, I'm like, oh yeah, I love lions. They're so regal and majestic. But no, I don't like want to have a lion encounter. That's, I'm fine with that. <laughs> okay, what is your favorite perfume? I don't know why I'm laughing for like every single question because I feel like my answers are embarrassing or something. I don't know. 
my favorite perfume for like the longest time like, I think I wore it like all of high school and college basically was Britney Spears fantasy <laughs> I think they reformulated it so I don't wear it anymore because it like I kind of stopped even smelling it on me and I don't know I didn't like the new formula but yeah I like Minoy scents right now I have like uh, Victoria's Secret, Bombshell, and Bombshell Intense, but a long-standing one was Britney Spears Fantasy, but I don't wear it anymore. <laughs> okay, let's see. What's next? How can I embarrass myself next? <laughs> what is your favorite holiday? Okay, that's not embarrassing. Christmas. I love Christmas. I love giving people presents. Like, you'll see on my channel, I'm gonna do a lot of giveaways just because, like, I love doing that for people. I, I don't even, like, like receiving things on Christmas. I just like giving, I like, you know, coming up with things that people don't even know that they want, but I know that they want, so I get it for them. But yeah, I give good presents, so I like Christmas, cause yeah, I put a lot of thought into presents that I get for people and stuff, so yeah. Okay, next question. On a scale from one to 10, rate your childhood. Yeah, let's not do that, shall we? I'll give it a solid four, is how I feel about it. Yeah, um, my husband and I compare our childhoods a lot and yeah, whenever like we kind of discuss our different experiences from childhood, he's always like, wow, you make me feel like I'm really ungrateful for having like an average or above average childhood because mine was very, I feel like below average and I try not to dwell on it. I just kind of try to make it up to myself in adulthood sometimes. But yeah, a lot of it for me personally was very like what not to do when I have kids and the types of circumstances that I don't want my kids to be in. So yeah, not the best. What's next? Have you been out of the country? Okay. So I was actually not even born in the US. I was born in Poland. So I was born out of the country and then I've been back since and I've been to France. I think I've been to Germany or I was like on the border of it, still in Poland, I'm not sure. So I think Germany and then I've been to Mexico for my honeymoon. So yeah, I haven't really traveled that that much, but I'm fine with that. I'm not like the biggest like traveler cause yeah, I don't know. Do you speak any different languages? Uh, yeah, so being that I was born in Poland, I actually speak Polish fluently. Um, maybe not fluently. I feel like I barely can communicate in it. I feel like I sound so stupid to people that actually speak Polish fluently and they just like make fun of me. But yeah, I can kind of communicate in Polish very, like very casually, conversationally and, and not very well. <laughs> Do you have any siblings? No, I don't, unfortunately. I feel like that's contributed to me being kind of like, I don't know, shy, isolated feeling, very socially awkward. Because yeah, I didn't get to grow up with like, you know, someone to talk to about everything. And I would have loved to have siblings, but I, I guess at the same time, going back to the question about my childhood, I'm glad that like, I didn't have siblings to go through the things that I did. So, you know, they kind of got spared that. But yeah, it would have been really cool to have siblings and, you know, even now I feel like my family feels very small because I don't have siblings and I would have loved to have like nieces and nephews and stuff. But yeah, don't, don't put your kid through that. Don't have only children. Like, it sucks. <laughs> what is your favorite store? Uh, like, all the beauty stores, hello. <laughs> so probably the store that I will like always try to go to and find a reason to go to is Ulta. I'm always at Ulta, especially like, you know, cause I can just pick up a little like some drugstore makeup or something. They have like the best point system. So yeah, go Ulta. <laughs> what is your favorite restaurant? I love sushi. So basically any like all you can eat sushi places I love. Yeah, just if you have a good price on all you can eat sushi and like, you know, really good quality sushi too. Like it doesn't have to be the best quality. I'm really not that picky. <laughs> then yeah, all you can eat sushi. And I like going to places like, I don't know, Applebee's, Outback, places like that. I'll usually get a burger. And I like those places cause like, you know, they give you fries and everything with your burger. I don't like going to like Five Guys or anything where like you don't get fries with your meal. It's like, what is that? You're making me buy fries separately. That's not cool. Like fries belong with the burger. What are you doing? <laughs> so yeah, any place that I guess gives you fries with your burger and doesn't separate them, like 
hello, come on. <laughs> okay. No, I'm a weirdo. <laughs> did you like school? No, I did not. <laughs> Who likes school? No, I know some people had like really good experiences, like when they went to school and stuff. I don't feel like I did, especially high school. I hated high school. Seventh and eighth grade were really good because I went to, like I, I switched schools around a lot, so that might've contributed to it. But seventh and eighth grade, I went to a really good school. I really liked it. I liked my classmates. They were all really, really nice. I wasn't like bullied there or anything. Whereas in other schools that I went to, I definitely experienced bullying. So I guess seventh and eighth grade were really great. Those were a really good like, period of my life, especially where school is concerned. Otherwise, I was like that kid that would cry every single morning before school and not want to go to school. So yeah, I, di I didn't, no, no school, no. <laughs> I didn't like it. It's funny because like I can look back on it now and laugh, but I would seriously cry every single day before school. Okay. Who are some of your favorite YouTubers? Okay, I have a lot of like different YouTubers for like different content, I guess, categories you can call it. So just as far as beauty goes, I love Raw Beauty Christy. She's so funny. I love her personality. And I really love like specifically the makeup looks that she does. I feel like she does very wearable looks, but you know, she'll also bust out some like halo cut creases and stuff like that. But she always makes everything very, very wearable. And she, again, she's just got the best personality. Like I love her. So Raw Beauty Christy for sure. Jen Loves Reviews, again, somebody who's just very honest, very straightforward, you know, very educated about what she's talking about. So I love her as well. I watch like Babs Beauty, Kelly Strack sometimes, just cause like, I don't know, I love their style and their blondes, so I can relate, I guess. But I just really love their style. Let's see, as far as like, I guess the YouTuber category goes, it would probably be, I've been watching a lot of the content bug recently. She makes really good videos just about like understanding your analytics, like organizing your channel, picking your niche and like, you know, organizing like your video ideas and stuff like that, coming out with like a schedule, which I feel like I need to do, but I can't commit to a schedule. I would love to, but sometimes it's like, I only get one video out a week. Sometimes I get two. Sometimes it's like a week and a half before I get a video out. So I'm all over the place, but that's because of work. So yeah, I wish I could have like, oh, I upload, you know, Tuesdays and Fridays or whatever, but yeah. Um, let me see, let me, let me check my subscriptions on YouTube because I'm forgetting. LG Queen Home Decor because I suck at interior design. So just everything in her channel looks amazing and it's super affordable. She has like DIY projects or just like really good finds from, you know, budget friendly stores. So that's definitely a really good channel for like decor, interior design and stuff, which like I desperately need help with. And then, Let's see, Zach George's Dog Training Revolution. That's really, really helped me. Okay, and so my camera stopped recording. <laughs> Man, it's just like salt in the wound right now. Um, all right, so I left off talking about Zach George's dog training. If you have a dog, watch his videos. It's gonna revolutionize your life because it's the dog training revolution. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, all right, I'm done with that, done. Let me set my timer because that's that's what went wrong. Why are cameras only recording for half an hour? I don't understand this. All right, where was I? What is your favorite movie? Okay, again, I don't have one answer because like, I like a lot of things, <laughs> but they're all related together and it's basically all the Marvel movies. So I love Marvel movies. I literally go see them in theaters every time they come out. And I guess if I had to pick one, then it would be like the original Avengers movie, like the first one where they're all together. It's so nostalgic for me at this point. Basically just like superhero sci-fi movies. I tried getting into like the DCU and Shazam was really good and I liked Aquaman, but we watched like the first Superman movie recently and it was just, it's really dark. Like, I don't know, there's not like too much humor in them and I really like humor. So the Marvel movies like really knock that out of the park. So yeah, all the Marvel movies. <laughs> okay, let's see. What are some of your favorite TV shows? Okay, this is easy because I only have like a few. <laughs> My dog is eating. <laughs> okay. I basically watch every single like 
part of the Bachelor franchise. So the Bachelor, Bachelorette, Bachelor in Paradise, Winter Games, whatever they put out, I watch basically. The Masked Singer, The Masked Singer is really, really good. Like, I love that show, it's amazing. It's one that I like recommend to everyone cause it's just a blast and I love guessing who everyone is and I just really like it, I guess, cause I like music. And then we just like watch anime a lot if we don't have anything else to watch. So I like Black Clover. I like Black Clover. I recently made my husband start watching it with me because we watched the first episode. He wasn't into it, and I was like, "This show is awesome." So yeah, we watch a lot of Black Clover. Um, recently, we've been like rewatching the whole Dragon Ball Z series and like all the movies in like the timeline. And you know, that's on him. He's like wanting to show me Dragon Ball Z, so I'm like, "Okay, I'll watch it with you." I used to watch like some notification. I used to watch some like finance type shows. So like Shark Tank and The Profit and stuff, but we just kind of didn't have the time to like keep up with it. And like, you don't learn that that much from those shows. Like we would watch flipping shows like Flip or Flop and stuff like that on HGTV. But for me personally, I just think it's better to watch people on YouTube who are doing it, who aren't like playing it up for TV and, you know, are using real numbers and stuff like that. So now I just prefer to watch, you know, people doing it on YouTube. Oh yeah, so again, I guess other YouTubers that I forgot in different like niches or whatever are, I watch a lot of, okay, now you're just being rude. <laughs> I watch a lot of Graham Steven and Meet Kevin and yeah, people like that. So yeah, those are more YouTubers that I watch. <laughs> PC or Mac? That's funny because that's actually a debate that we're having like at this point in time at this moment is the PC Mac debate. So I have all PCs and like an Android phone and everything but I've been tempted to want to get a Mac because I know like everyone edits on Final Cut Pro and it just looks so easy. I'm editing on DaVinci Resolve right now and I'm just like, I don't know what I'm doing. Like I have no idea what I'm doing. I've had my channel for over a year now and the whole like editing is like my least favorite part of it. I feel so dumb when I'm trying to edit. I'm like, how does everyone make their videos look so good? I can't do that. So yeah, let me know what you guys use. Do you use a PC or Mac and why? and like convince me to get on your side because I need some help right now. Alrighty, what is next? What phone do you have? So yeah, like I said, I have an Android. This is the Samsung Note 9. I think I've had it for, yeah, like a year now. Um, I have the Casemate waterfall case. It's kind of like a snow globe. I have a very short attention span, so I like this. Yeah. <laughs> okay, how tall are you? 5'3". There's only one answer to that. <laughs> And then do you have any pets? Yes, I do. So you know I love dogs. So I have one dog now. I want to get more, but I don't have the space. So once I do, I will probably have like a farm of dogs. I think he, oh, he's, he's right next to me right now. Oh my gosh. Come, honey. Oh my gosh, it's my baby. So this is my baby, Binky. He's three years old and he's a Maltese. And we trimmed him really short because he has to wear a lot of clothes right now when he goes out because it's really, really cold. But yeah, he's the best baby ever. And we call him a lot of things. We call him, you know, his name is Binky, but his middle name is Boo. So his name is Binky Boo. And we call him Binkster and Bink and Binkaroo and Binkaroni. And you know, I'm saying your name and Stinker Bink and everything. Because you're my baby. You, you, you just love to snuggle. He just snuggles all day. Maltesers are the best. So literally, like, he's such a lap dog. He just wants to be picked up like he's a baby. He's literally like a little human baby. Oh my gosh. Okay, down you go. Down you go, baby. Um, so yeah, that's my dog. And as you can see, like, I'm, I'm like the dog whisperer. Like, I'm literally dog obsessed. I like betta fish a lot too. We had like individual male betas before and they live like a pretty long time, like three years each or so, but we did a lot of research and decided to have a beta sorority. So now I have like six female betas. So here's a little shot of my aquarium. There's six of them in total. I don't know if they're all at the front or not, or if they're gonna come over, but their names are Bubbles, Buttercup and Blossom, Ariel, Aurora, and Belle. So you can see 
where I got the inspiration for their names from. But yeah, these are my girls. And yeah, so I have beta fish too. <laughs> All right, so that's it. Um, this was actually really, really fun. This put me in a really good mood. I was really sad before. It, it hasn't been a good couple weeks, but this was really fun. And I hope that you guys enjoyed it too. I hope I didn't bore you out of your mind. And yeah, hopefully you learned a little bit more about me. <laughs> so if you weren't bored out of your mind, then give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're wondering what to watch next, then here's a couple, no, stop it. <laughs> If you're wondering what to watch next, here's a couple more videos by me that you can check out. And then click on my face to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hello. <laughs> All right, my loves. Thank you so much for spending time with me. And I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.